How's it going everybody? There are two Minute Raptors here and welcome to a fan-made game called Sonic and Ashuro. It's a ROM hack of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game but with more modern assets such as Sonic Mania-ish assets, longer levels and you know, making it feel more different than the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. So I decided to play something Sonic related because I haven't been playing anything Sonic related in this channel for over a month now and well it's nice to go back home and you know, mingle around a little bit at home. So. I decided to play something fan related while we're waiting for the official PS 2017 and Sonic Mania. So here we go. Actually, you know, now that I realize it, I. This looks a bit hard on the eyes. Wait, I'm gonna try something. Wait, guys. Whoa! I think I encountered a glitch! Okay, let's reset this thing. Okay. Because I'm playing this on an emulator, guys, that means I can do a bit of editing to the actual video as I'm recording it. Because you see the actual problem... Let's see... Yes, because you see the actual problem with old games when you run them on newer generation consoles, they will look a bit weird, so... Let's make it much more modern. Let's brighten it a little bit to retain its assets. And we'll add a bit of that scale line. Yes, there. That way it will look a bit more professional like it was made for an iOS app. So, without further ado, let's try Sonic and Ashuro. Here we go. Alright, let's see. Wow! Oh, this is neat! And I'm already invincible! Yeah! You can't stop me! I am the big! Yay! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, you want that? Yeah! Oh, I'm touching on the spikes! Mm, 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 mm. Yeah! Mm, mm. Oh, oh, the spike is so good on my foot! No, not anymore. Ah! Gotcha! Ah, I have another invincibility! Ah, the world loves me! Ah. Oh, this is really neat. I like how he made Sonic the Hedgehog look Sonic Mania-ish. He even runs like the Sonic Mania ones, as you can see here. Look at that! That's so cool! <laughs> and the level design is also a bit different. As you can see, he made it. He made Green Hill Zone a bit longer and added new assets to it. Like this new loop-de-loop -loop and stuff and like that, so... It on under with honestly, I like what I see here. I really do like what I see. So, if you want to know how I knew this game came to exist, mainly it's because there's another channel that specifically focuses on fan-made Sonic games, and they're called Razor and Xenon. I usually go to that channel if I want to check out anything Sonic fan-related. And so, if you want to go check them out and try new things made by the fans, especially Sonic-related, go check them out. There's a free advertising for them and a shout-out to them. So thank you guys so much for making me realize that this ROM hack exists. Yeah, it really does have that Sonic Mania assets. I really like that. It feels so... Modern. Oh, this is pretty. Like, this is really pretty. I'm really glad I added the scale line here. As you can see, it looks much easier on the eyes and whatnot. And it just looks much more professional and whatnot. So bright and colorful. I mean, despite me being a more darker side aspect of the Sonic franchise, I do like brighter aspects of games. I like more colorful aspects of games and stuff, stuff and like that. So, what kind of games do I like? Well, I like the, what do you call this, the theme to be a bit dark. But, the overall levels and areas are still bright and nice. But the actual, but the actual themes and everything must be like a bit realistic and dark and stuff and like that, you know? Which is why I kind of have a bit of a problem with Shout Edge of the Game, because it was dark in every way, and while it was nice in some areas, it was a bit too much. Like, the darkness has really... or the seriousness of that thing has seriously went like, okay, has overstayed its turn. So I would like something that has a blend of something nice with a blend of something serious. So, not too much. A balance, in other words. Yes, a good balance between stuff. Fuck you. Yeah, I like how he runs. He runs like Sonic Mania. This game really makes me want to play Sonic Mania right now. I mean, I really can't wait. So comment down below, guys. Again, what are you most anticipated about? Project Sonic 2017 or Sonic Mania? And state your reason why. Yeah, I even like how Sonic does that thing. It looks pretty professional. I really like it. This music sounds very familiar. This music sound. Oh, it's the modern Sonic Generations theme of Green Hill Zone. Oh, that's neat. And why is there a spike there right where I need to go boosting? Oh, that's dirty. I like this. I like this hack. I like this version. They, it really feels like a different game altogether. 
Good, good job on you, whoever made this. Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's spy. That's spring. Now on to the subject of PS 2017 and um, uh, Sonic Mania. Obviously, because I'm more of a modern Sonic fan, I'll be obviously more anticipated for Project Sonic 2017. But that doesn't mean. I do not like much of Sonic Mania. I mean, look at this. I really love what I see here. It makes me even more anticipated for Sonic Mania and stuff like that. So, Pyramid Trap Zone. Whoa, this looks mighty different. Screw you. I think I'm gonna like Project Sonic 2017, not only because it has a modern aspect to it, but because it's dark, yet some of its yet it balances out the darkness. Like I said with Child Hedgehog guys. It was dark in some, in most places actually. It was dark in all places and it started to become very wavering, which is one of the reasons that um, I find that game a bit lackluster. I never have any problem with Shadow the Hedgehog, I just, um, it was pretty mediocre, but in no way one of the worst Sonic games I ever played. No, ah, uh, we all know we played worse, or at least I played worse and whatnot. Sacre bleu! Come on, no, I don't wanna- Ah, great, I'm trapped now, I need to push it- Ah! Okay, that was lucky for me. Anyway, so, that's why. And, of course, we all know that Shadow the Hedgehog hates his own game because of the way how it ruined his reputation and such. I, for one, like it a bit, but I will complain a lot of things about it. For example, screw you spikes! For example, I did not like the fact that, like I said, everything was dark to the... to the level designs, to the dialogue and stuff like that. The theme I would get, but the actual fact that everything was overall dark and too, it was too brooding, you know? It, there was no balance. And it and overall, the game kind of made Shadow Hedgehog look more like a gangster rather than a cool, mysterious hedgehog. No, he looked like one of those guys but Look, I hold the gun sideways, you mother... You know, those kind of guys? And it doesn't fit Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow Hedgehog looked kind of, well, gangster dumb. However, I will say that I do like the fact that they added guns because, you know, I'm a fanatic of guns and whatnot. I'm a fanatic of first-person shooters, so guns is also my specialty. In addition, that um, I like how Shadow Hedgehog is a main playable character. What I did not like was the fact that they used Sonic Heroes gameplay and made it into something that's fitting for all types of gameplay, like running and then slowing down and stuff like that. So. But there are a lot of good aspects to it, for example, the element of choice. Yes, I did like the fact that you get to choose which mission you like to partake in the same level, and it branches out. That's a really good idea. I hope they reintroduce that in future Sonic games. It provides the aspect of, oh, it was my choice and my choice alone, screw you. This is me, and this is will I ever be. But overall, it was just mediocre. The gameplay was pretty slow for the gameplay style to be made to be fast, you know? We all know that Sonic Heroes gameplay was made to be more speedy and such, but it, but when they slowed it down, it kind of you know befitted it that there's a brighter pyramid zone. And overall, it was just uh, it was like meh, you know. I mean, it had potential, honestly. Like how I think of Sonic 06. That's why I don't hate Sonic 06 that much, or as much as other people do. I honestly think that Sonic 06 had potential, but it gets lost with all of its limited time to make or it's bad production cycle and stuff and like that so I'm not saying that Sonic 06 is a good game by all means no I'm just saying I like it that's it that's all I'm saying I'm saying that I see how much potential it had and I would rather see Sonic 06 that way now one game where I really hate and the only Sonic game where when I got it at the start I really hated it and really like was like a typical Sonic fan that goes like, Oh my god, this game sucks! Was Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Now here's why. I was one of the supporters for Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, mainly because of the fact that, hey, they're making a gameplay in which you get to free roam. You can get to play a Sonic more than just running. Sonic finally feels like a character rather than a car with arms and legs. So I was happy. Free roam Sonic, multiple playable characters, even though Shadow the Hedgehog's not, but still, I was a fan, and overall, I like the different take. I appreciate them going through a different style, and vice versa. What I didn't like was that they just botched it. Now every time when I say I want a free roam Sonic game, stuff like that, people will say, um, um, wait, what about Sonic Boom? And then I'm gonna have to go and, com and complain and explain all what I'm doing right now to you guys and stuff like that all the time, and so that's the problem. 
In other words, I also see the potential in Sonic Boom, but I'm more mad at Sonic Boom than Sonic 06, mainly because they botched it up so much. Because they had the potential, they had mistakes that they can learn from, and yet they made it again. Then again guys, I will not blame wholeheartedly on Big Red Button. I do feel a bit sorry for them because they really did try their best. Where the flipping finanigan am I supposed to go, my laddie? Right down here. Right down here. Yes, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. So that's why. Um, I feel more... I feel more, you know, angry at Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric because of its potential. And you know what I know what's the main problem? Okay, forget all the fact that the game had glitches and stuff and it was downright boring and all it, it was put together in such a very bad way. Let's forget all that. I also have another problem with the actual gameplay style. Now that's a bit nitpicking, but since this is a bad, this is a bad game, it will not be that harsh to me. So my problem or my gist with Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric was the fact that... Wait, sh shoot, shoot, crap! Ooh, I will... I lost all sense of control in my fingers for a second. She. My problem with Sun Blue Rise of Lyric in general aspect of gameplay was the fact that they didn't do the free room well. You see, the reason why people think the game was slow was not because of the fact it was free room, but because they did free room the wrong way. You see, whenever there's free room, you can't go fast. And whenever you can go fast, you are limited to a certain line, like Sonic Generation, which kind of ruins the reason why you have free room in the first place. What I'm trying to say is, is that whenever there's freedom, there's no speed. Whenever there is speed, there's no freedom. Freedom and speed were never blended together. They were just side by side, which one opens up and the other one closes. And that's not a very good way to portray freedom-based Sonic gameplay. What, what kind of freedom I want is when I can go wherever I want and be fast whenever I want, you know? Everything's intertwined, but Sonic Boom Rides a Lyric kind of ruins that by separating the freedom with the speed. So, even though the game would turn out to be good, I, it will not be exactly what I want and I will be a bit peeved. All in all, guys, what I'm trying to say is, is that if you have a problem with Sonic Boom, then you... then... that's you. For me, I also have a problem, but I could see more of a potential of it rather than Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, and I think most of you would agree on that. Now, I will do definitely say that there are some good parts of Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, because I don't want to be the guy who hates, who only sees the bad stuff of things, because, well, I see my fair share of human beings and myself only looking at one side and being a general prick, so I try to be more professional and say that there are some good things with Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, and that is the fact that you get to play as more than one character. And that's about it. <laughs> and the idea that they decide to add free roam, even though the free roam was terrible, but the fact that there is free roam to begin with kind of gives it a good vibe, so I'm gonna let that be like a 0.2 of its good side, but that's about it. I don't know, what do you think? Which one which one do you hate more? Sonic 06 or Sonic Boom Rise on there? Comment down below. Now as for the 3DS versions of Sonic Boom uh, of the Sonic Boom games, I'm okay with, especially with uh, Fire and Ice. I thought it was pretty rad. Oh crap. Oh, oh, I'm in the boss. I forgot. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here, you fat bastard. We're gonna have, you're gonna have to use all the medicine, you see, I see. Come on. Come on. Come on. You think I'm so fast and so fit with it? Yes, I am. And definitely more fast for you and for that. Oh, just playing this mirror really way. This game really wants me to play Sonic Mania. And I do want to play Sonic Mania. It has that feeling. Sonic, why are you looking at me like that for? Go suck your own dick. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was like, "What? Yay!" Industrial zone, which is technically that. Yeah, I was expecting as much. Oh, and by the way, guys, yes, I'm gonna talk about the Nintendo Switch now. Yes, I will be definitely getting a Nintendo Switch. You see my articulation problem? That's why I'm a bit skeptical of doing traditional Let's Play. You're gonna see me doing your mistakes, and unlike this video where I cut out my problems, I will not be cutting out my articulation problem. What the freaking frick? Hey, what the heck? Metal! Metal! Uh, yes, I will definitely be getting a Nintendo Switch because it's one of my new favorite consoles right now. Now, that's premature to say because I haven't got it yet, but I, I really have a feeling that it will be my new favorite console, honestly, because I just like how accessible it is to anywhere you go. I mean, that's one of our, that's one of our big problems as being console players, we, or at least PC gamers, in fact. We are limited to be 
playing in our rooms or in our comfort of our own homes and sometimes we just want to be playing console quality games outside you know, as a trip or whatnot. But finally, Nintendo Switch allows us to do such a thing, and I'm really happy for that. Also, per I, I think it's a bit uh, creative to my personality and stuff, but I also like Nintendo Switch mainly because of how transformable it is. If you catch my drift... <clears throat> okay, I'll continue. But yeah, guys, uh, the reason why I'm pointing out Sonic... Uh, the reason why I'm pointing out Nintendo Switch is because I do want to point out on two things. One, even though I do will, uh, I will get a Nintendo Switch, I might be skeptical with playing the Nintendo exclusive title games. Because number one, guys, despite the fact that Nintendo is trying to get more third party with other developers, and I, and I love the fact, but I feel like I'm just going to be buying Nintendo exclusive games still. Because usually, guys, I use my Xbox One to play games that are multi-platform. So if this game is available on other platforms, I would get on an Xbox One. But if it's exclusive to that platform, obviously I'll get on that platform. So the same will apply to Nintendo Switch. Even though it's more third-party friendly now, I will definitely still be buying Nintendo exclusive games because Nintendo exclusive games are just so creative and just beautiful. Like Super Mario Odyssey and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But here's the thing, guys, here's the problem. God damn it! Yes, thank you! Oh! Oh, God, I'm back down here. Yes! Yeah! Oh. You see, the problem is I get a little skeptical when I record Nintendo games, or at least games that are. Nintendo base, I just said that. I, I get a little skeptical when I play Nintendo games, mainly because of the fact that Nintendo are heavy on their copyright system. Now, not that I'm saying they shouldn't, because I understand perfectly why. They need to protect what they own, and in a world where privacy is not a thing anymore, and considering that people take advantage of selfless acts, people need to learn what is theirs and what is not. But back to what I'm saying, I understand why Nintendo is so heavy on their copyright strikes and whatnot. Which is why I try to refrain myself from playing Nintendo games. For example, I remember playing Splatoon and it was once planned that I would always play Splatoon. There's just one problem with that. When my first two videos of Splatoon, I got like... One, two, three... Six to seven copyright claims, both on visual and audio aspects. Now for... Su now for... Uh, what do you call this? For... God damn it. For Splatoon! I couldn't do anything about it because visual-wise, there's a lot of things going on in there and those are the best parts of the game and so I can't do anything about it. So that is why I stopped playing Splatoon despite the fact how much I love Splatoon because I'll get copyrighted for it. Same thing goes for Mario Kart 8. I was actually, I once played Mario Kart 8 but I got copyrighted for visual aspects and I'm like, god damn it. I was a little bit sore but I was not all heartedly mad at Nintendo because like I said guys, I understand. What's going on? Ah, oh, Metal Sonic trying to rip me but hold So yeah, um, even though I'll buy the Nintendo Switch guys, I will be very skeptical and it may not likely be that I will play the Nintendo games. However, I will try. I will try, but if I'm not, that means I got copyrighted. That means I did try and upload a Nintendo game and I deleted it due to copyright claims and whatnot. So, yeah. In addition guys, in terms of Sonic and Nintendo Switch, I will not be getting Sonic Mania and Project Sonic 2017 on the Nintendo Switch. I'll be getting Sonic Mania and, so and Project Sonic 2017 on the Xbox One. Like, because like I said, for multi-platform games, I'll be getting them on an the Xbox One because that's the way how I like to use my Xbox One. So, uh, so yeah, all in all, Sonic Mania and Project Sonic 2017, I'll be playing on an Xbox One. But I guess it really doesn't matter to you guys considering that we just want the game. And I'm really excited for them. The music is very familiar. Tetris! That's why it sounds so cool. It's the Tetris theme, alright. Nice, you use other uh, non sonic related stuff. I like that. I like a bit of crossovers to my stuff, guys. It makes me feel like the universe that I'm playing in is connected to other universes. That is why I'm a huge fan of universe-based games and Sonic for... Oh my god, get up! Come on! Yeah, no! Why, why is it not working? Oh my god! Alright, I gotta go fast, right? That means I must. Yeah! Yes! Sometimes Sonic can only be the fastest with a little help from the world. And that is why he has his friends. 
Whoa, 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 oh, I was so fast. I was running on the end. There are two Metal Sonics? Ah, god damn it. Yeah, come on, move, move, move. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. No! Rip. Okay, I just get down, get down, get down. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. <laughs> Look at Sonic. <laughs> Yeah, what? What? Wait! Huh? 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 I'm stuck in this position. <laughs> Why classic games are being much more preferred to than modern Sonic games, and that's really a shame because I really do like modern Sonic games, but I do see the many problems into why modern game, modern Sonic games are a bit less well received. So it's kind of really a gripe to realize that they haven't really got the hang of it yet with 3D gameplay with a 3D game, at least for Sonic. You know what I think it is? I think because they're focusing too much on speed, rather than the fact that there's a character involved in this. I mean, that's the reason why... Like I said, it, some some of the Sonic games were, relying, were focusing too much on speed, like Sonic and the Secret Rings, which was very linear. Same thing goes for Sonic and the Black Knight, and also Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Generations kind of like fixed that problem, but still was very linear all in all. But at least it was a bit more fun. But still, there were people who really did like the Sonic Unleashed gameplay aspect, and that really kind of sucks because, well, despite the fact that I myself do am, am not preferring the Sonic Generations type gameplay, I still feel like it does fit Sonic. So it, it's, it kind of sucks because I saw a lot of reviews saying that I still hate the modern style gameplay, but it's good they added back the classic because that's the only true good Sonic game like that. I'm like, that's not true. But then again, guys, I have to remind myself that everyone has their own opinion, their own taste of things, and there's nothing wrong with that. The only gripe I have with people having their own opinion is that they are very rude when they express their opinion. When you express your own opinion, they will be so rude and then right shun you for it, and then they express their own opinion and then say it in such a way where I'm much better, I'm right. And that's why people don't like opinions. Because, not, not because of the fact that they think differently, but because of the fact that the way how they present their opinions. It's so, so insulting. Oh my god, you like classic Sonic? Oh, you suck, man. That was shows you as a carry. I prefer modern because I'm a modern guy. I go up with the times. That's why people, that's the why. That's why people don't like hearing opinions. Not because they don't like to hear, not because of the fact that their opinions are different, no. But because of the way how they express it. And it's just so insulting. What the? <laughs> that's a new one game through the water. Trotting. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, underwater levels. Ah. The one thing I really hate in classic Sonic, and this is a part, and this is a part where I really think that modern games did it well better than the classic counterpart, is the underwater levels. The underwater levels in classic Sonic games, such as this, is appalling. I hate it. And I will and I am now dreading the time where I'll reach the water level. My game crashed. My game crashed. I am going to do a safe state. I'm going to do a safe state. There. Safe state there. Done. I will say though that this boss battle is a bit enjoyable. But because I'm so annoyed right now. What? Why are you did why? Oh my god! I've been playing for 1 hour and 34 minutes now. I could see it in my audio recording. This is so appalling. Here we go! That's right. That is right. Come on. See, I'm in a situation where if, where if I make one mistake, that's it. Game over. My life is one. My rings are zero. Wow. This really is a final battle. Here we go. You just have to be there, you smart bastard. You smart fat bastard. There we go. Yeah! Finally! Oh, 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 there you go, there you go. Okay, good. Get you. Yeah! <laughs> bye bye! Fat bastard. And we did it! We have completed the hack. Essentially, we have completed Sonic the Hedgehog, but with the hack version. And just look how amazing it is. Green Hill Zone looks brighter than ever. Sonic Hedgehog looks so Sonic Mania-ish. Ah, oh, it's just amazing. Okay, I'm gonna help him out there. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it right here. So, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Bye bye